Welcome back to the channel. When we are buying fixed assets in our company, for example, we are buying new laptops for our employees, or we are building a new production line, or doing some renovations to a building, then we need to follow one of the asset acquisition business processes. There are many options available. In the video today, I will give you an overview on the different business processes for fixed asset acquisition. And then in the next videos, I will go into the details of every process with a demo on SAP s The first business process is fixed asset acquisition against a supplier. We use this process when we want to have only one transaction that will post both the supplier invoice and the fixed asset acquisition. This is the most simple business process we have and it doesn't require integration with material management. We only post one transaction. The financial entry is a debit to the fixed asset and a credit to accounts payable for the supplier account. The second business process is fixed asset acquisition against an offsetting account. We use this process when we want to separate the acquisition into two different transactions. In the first transaction, we post the asset acquisition, and in the second transaction, we post the supplier invoice. So in the first transaction, we will have the financial entry of a debit to the fixed asset and a credit to an intermediary account. And then in the second transaction, we are going to debit the intermediary account and credit the supplier accounts payable. This process also doesn't require any integration with materials management. It is only on the finance side. The third process is fixed asset acquisition through materials management. This process follows the same sequence as the standard purchasing process for any material. So we start by creating a request for quotation that we send to the supplier to ask for the price of a certain product, let's say a laptop for example, and then the supplier would respond with a quotation saying this is the price of the laptop. Then we create a purchase order, we do a goods receipt, and in this case the goods receipt will post a debit to our fixed assets account and a credit to GRIR, and then we move to invoice receipt, and here we post a debit to GRIR and a credit to the supplier. I have explained the standard purchasing process before in a full playlist. I will leave you a link here. And anyway, don't worry, I will explain this process in details in a separate video. The fourth process is fixed asset acquisition through asset under construction, AUC. This is the more complicated process that we use when we are spending money over time to post the asset acquisition. For example, if we are building a production line, this is a project that would take from us, for example, six months, a year, which means we are spending money every month without actually having the fixed asset. The fixed asset will only be complete after the production line is ready, which means that every month we need to post the value of the expenses we spent in an asset under construction that will be in our balance sheet. And then when this is over, when the asset is ready, we will post the asset under construction into a fixed asset. So this is the one that we use when we are spending money over time. This process can be simple or can be very complicated. If we use the simple variation, then we are going to create an internal order and then we set the internal order to an AUC at the end of every month. Or it can be more complicated if we use the project systems module. And here we create WBS, work breakdown structures. We have the ability to have budgeting, planning, milestones, and it is a very strong module, the project systems. Again, don't worry about the details. This will be explained in details in future videos. The important thing for me now is that you understand what are the different options available for asset acquisition and you can differentiate between them. So in short, we have four different processes for fixed asset acquisition. Asset acquisition against a supplier, asset acquisition against an offsetting account, asset acquisition through materials management, and asset acquisition through asset under construction. This is it for the video today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.